the fundamental thing to, to, to think about with respect to these block nodes is they're totally permissionless. Anybody can run one. And it works because you don't have to trust the block node. All the proof is in the block because the block was produced by the consensus nodes and they signed the block. So you know, if you got that block on a clay tablet 100 years from now, 1,000 years from now, you could turn it into bytes, you could verify the signature, and you would know that block was absolutely produced by the consensus nodes. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter how that thing was, was given to you. If you have a block, you can independently verify everything that's in it, a state proof out of it, uh, a proof that some message or memo or something was in that block, proof that a transaction was in the block, all sorts of things you can prove just from having the block. And that was really an important design criteria was yeah, to carry that trust with the block. And so you know, anybody who gets one of those blocks can has, has the full trust in the network that the data in there is trustworthy. Um, and so you, know, you can pass that around. It can go through as many different block nodes as you like. It can go any kind of complicated network. And you can verify all the way back to the consensus network that everything is trusted in there. You don't have to trust every party that passed it to you.